Let me tell you, okay, so this, he brings up a good point right now. This is Alex on the YouTube feed. Um, <clears throat> changing runways. Okay, the first thing is if the tower offers you the runway change. And they're like, hey, trainer one, you know, runway, the left side's available. Maybe it's the inboard and it's closer to your gate. This happens in real life, by the way. Okay, you're, maybe, let's say you're going into a, <clears throat> uh, what's a good example of this? I guess maybe, uh, well, I'll just use Fort Lauderdale. All right, we got 10 left and 10 right. So we got, here's the left and here is the right. Here's your terminal in between. Maybe you're parking over here and they have you coming in on this approach. And you're like, man, now I'm gonna have to land. I'm gonna have to back taxi this way, go around the terminal, come over here, right? Whereas if you were to land over here, you would just turn off and you're right and you're going home right away, right? Here's the thing. So they, they might offer it to you and they'll say, hey, trainer one, you're, uh, the left side's available for you. Would you prefer the runway? Okay, now look, everything here depends. How low of an altitude am I at? Is it visual? Is it IMC? Right, there's a, different, there's a few different variables that go into this. I usually am hesitant to change runways because I've already loaded another runway. I've already briefed another runway. I'm already mentally prepared for another runway. I've already briefed the taxi from a different runway and I don't like changing. My descent planning has already been calculated based on landing that runway. I'm not a big fan of, change, of changing runways unless it's visual, clear in a million, Right, I can simply disconnect the autopilot. This is another thing for those of you, okay, don't try to, um, depending on altitude, don't try to fly your way to the parallel runway using the autopilot if you're not proficient enough yet with the FCU or the MCP. Because when you're that close to the runway, your flight path has to change so fast that your hands cannot do it fast enough on the FCU or the MCP. Right, so keep that in mind. If your flight path needs to change faster than what you can manipulate controls, click the autopilot off and hand fly the, the jet. Okay, so Captain Alex, the first thing um, is maybe I don't change runways. If they need me to change runways, they say, hey, no, expect so, you know, such and such uh, runway and it's a totally different one. You're talking about a 320 because you have it in a secondary flight plan. What do you do? Select heading, select heading, activate secondary, and then usually at that point you can manage nav. The, the terminology would be select heading, activate secondary, manage nav. Does that make sense, Alex? I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, let me know. I'll hit it from a different angle. Uh, but let me go back to your question, make sure I got it. Come in on an ILS approach, glide slope already captured. Tower changes you to another runway. You activate secondary flight plan. Oh, so you have the glide slope already captured. Yeah. Well, you could do the same thing, right? You could, you could still do the same thing. You would, you would still have to get off of it, okay? And then activate secondary and then you get back with the approach mode. Remember, you're gonna have to rearm the approach mode here. Approach mode, autopilot two, and then read the FMA. I'm not a big fan of changing runways. If I already have the glide slope captured, how far out am I, Alex? You know, I, I, wouldn't, really, I wouldn't really try to change it, to be honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> what else we got going on? Captain Huga, what's going on, man? Thanks for tuning in with JJ Team, live in the 305. Call us, 1-888-778-1441. Alex, I hope that answers. Uh, super thanks. No worries, brother. Thanks for tuning in and for asking the questions. If you have any other questions, folks, uh, let me know. Alex asked a good question, which is if I'm on the approach and the glide slope's captured and tower wants me to change runways, this isn't a 320, how would we go about doing it? Hopefully you have it in the secondary. You can activate the secondary flight plan. If it's visual and I'm close in, I would not do anything with the box, to be honest. Okay, this is another thing. Everybody's like, oh no, I gotta do, I gotta put something in the, in the McDo. I gotta put something in the FMS. No, you don't. You ain't got to put nothing, man. If it's visual approach, I don't need to put nothing. See what I'm saying? Can y'all hear me okay? Let me grab my microphone. Can you hear me okay? All right, you do not need, you do not need to put anything in there. If it's clear and visual day, birds are singing, okay? I'm just going to autopilot off and I'm going to parallel. I'm just going to coast on over to the other runway. Make sense? Captain Kev, what do we got going on? Running an eyeless approach? Train.